Sorry, you have to put up with it. Okay. So I'm going to open up my Illustrator. If I can see it. But I opened it. Right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to open uh, my inside and my outside card. Can't remember what I did. Let's see. Here it goes. Here it goes. Come on, buddy. All right. And I can't remember which version I did with you guys, but you're looking right here, right? My outside. And then open the inside. Oh, I didn't do anything on that one. Hold on. Same one. No. Spell it right. Oh, and after I'm done with this, someone remind me. Who's a good reminder? <laughs> remind me to take attendance. <laughs> That's important. All right, let me look on here. Sorry, file opened. Maybe it's oh, excuse me. Sorry. Should have had this repaired. No vote. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's on my layers, view layers. Hmm. Right, I'm going to put whatever. Sorry. And then a reminder, you guys should be naming your layers. I'll be checking for that. All right. And then I'm going to choose a color here. Say my inside of my card is red. Oh, and just a heads up. Uh, anybody love Halloween? Yes or no? Anybody care? We might do the next project kind of Halloween related. Even if you're not into it, we'll see. All right. And then I'm going to put uh, thank you. I'm just going to put filler text here. Some people love Halloween, like my wife. She's just ready to put up all the stuff. Well, she's ready for me to put up all the stuff. No, not a joke. Anybody? He he. Nah, nah, she helps me. Thank you. And I'll just place some random picture here. Pictures I have here. Don't judge. Mm 
I'm just gonna place anything. So it has something. Go down and multiply. Transparency. Multiply. All right. Say I got that going, right? That's the inside of my card. So everybody should watch this. So this is the inside of my card. Um, typically on your final PDF that we're about to print, you do want to normally outline your fonts. That is convert them to outlines, but only on this final PDF. Watch this. So say that I have this font. Uh, I'm going to put everything here. Hold on. Oh, I'll put something funny. Is that not funny to anybody? No. You guys read it? No? No? Not funny? Sebastian? No? You don't want to tell your parents this? No? <laughs> All right. It's just funny. Okay. So that's what it says. I hit save, right? This is my AI file, or in this case, my AIC, which is on my cloud. You're going to do, or you're going to outline all your fonts. Make sure they're all unlocked, all your layers. Shift, Command, O. And the reason to do this, this is only on this one. You don't want to save at this point because then you'll, you'll save onto your original AI file and your fonts will be outlined and you don't know what fonts they are if you come back to the file, right? Because it won't show you, okay? So you only do this this last step before you save a new PDF, right? And you are gonna save a new PDF besides the one you, you posted on Schoology. So I did a shift command O, all my fonts are outlined. And the reason is some printers, like that little laser printer or the, the big one, when we did our sticker, I did tell all you guys outline your fonts. Uh, because when they're live fonts, sometimes the printer will make them default. Uh, most of these printers nowadays don't do that. They they have a way of, of telling it uh, because a printer is basically a computer as well, right? It tells it, hey, make sure this font prints correctly. In the old days, we had, to, we had to do this no matter what all the time. But sometimes if you see your font default, since you know how to use Illustrator, you can outline the font before you save the final PDF. All right. So I outline my fonts so that the printer won't have an issue with them. And then I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to save it on my computer. I'm going to choose PDF like we did before, right? It automatically changes it to PDF. But we're going to click a few more things. Hit save. Now, press quality, right? That's our highest quality, even though some people get confused and choose high quality. But press quality is even higher than that. And right here on the side, it says marks and bleeds. All right? And we're going to put, you could, you could do all printers marks, but typically we only need trim marks, okay? Uh, but you can click on this one just for this test today. Uh, and again, this is going to the, the, the professional level of knowing how to use Illustrator and sending a file to a real print shop, right? Say you worked for... Uh, for a greeting card company and they say, okay, that one's approved, send it to the print shop, right? A real print shop. Uh, 
and it's going to have all these marks. Let's see if it did it. I might have had to add. Let's see where I saved it. Hold on. Because it's not, it won't show it to you in the live file. Uh, let me save it on my desktop, on my messy desktop. So let's do that again. Uh, marks and bleeds, all printers marks. I can't remember if I need to come back here, but we'll see. Save PDF. Ah, yeah, it worked. So I close it, right? Remember, always close a PDF. Never work in a PDF. Don't make changes in it once you've saved it. Now, check it out. This is my file I saved. I don't know if you guys can see. It's opening up. Notice we get these things on the edges on the actual PDF file. You're not going to see it happen in the file while you have it open in Illustrator. But now you see we have... Uh, some information here. These are registration marks and I kind of messed up. I should have done the bleed. I'll show you guys right now because we want a little bit of color to go over and that's okay. All right. Uh, but we could do it this way too. It's fine. We can always trim it down. All right. So you see how it, in it included some information, right? And notice it now brought the image uh, into the, the actual eight and a half by 11 document, right? So it's making it, it's, uh, it's added this white border to add all this information. So now the card is a little bit smaller on our eight and a half by 11 document. All right. And you'll see it when we print it. All right. So that was the inside. Okay. So the real difference is, uh, printers marks. Okay. Um, now this is this is what I should have done. Watch this. this. This should work. This is what I should have done. So this is my outside of my card, right? And remember how we talked about the stickers about adding a little bit of extra image. So I'm doing it to this one. Notice how I went beyond the document. This is technically the correct way. I mean, we can still get away with with just doing it the way I showed you the first one, right? But I'm doing it where I extended the background color or any images to go off of the document. I don't know if you guys can see up on the screen. There's my actual document, right? The black line is the document. So see how the color goes over a little bit. Let's see. I think this is the right way. I just haven't done this since last year. It's been a year since I did this. So let's do the same thing. Any text, let's unlock it, select all. Shift Command O. Remember, when you do Shift Command O, it will only affect the text. All right. Do not save at this point because you'll accidentally save your AI file with with uh, outline fonts. But now we do the save as save to your computer, desktop, PDF. Right. Hit save. Press quality. Marks and bleeds, all printers marks, but now I'm going to add top. Uh, let's add, maybe this is too much, but let's add 0.25, tab 0.25, tab. Yeah, see how I did it all the way around? That's a quarter inch. We really shouldn't do an eighth, but that's fine. Now let's see what it gives me. I might have to redo the other one to match it up. Cool. Close it immediately. Let me see my inside of card. Oh, outside of card. Sorry. Desktop. Let's see if it did it. Aha. Yeah, that's what we should have done. Okay. We'll, we'll, so do it like this second one. Because now you'll notice that the crop marks, and we're literally going to cut these right now. I'm going to redo the other one right now because I messed up. Uh, is actually cutting into the background color. Do you guys see it? All right. So don't do what I did on the first one. Let's let's resave the first one. So the first one, I open up my AI file again. This guy. All right. Sorry, I messed up. Select all. Shift Command O, right? Because this is my AI file, my my mama file. Save ads. Save on your computer. Now they're going to match up. PDF. Save. 
it's going to say you want to replace yes because i messed up press quality marks and bleeds now notice now it's in there right 0.25 on all four sides now this one's going to match the other one hit save close it immediately narrow work in a pdf and now Aha, so see how both now have the same crop marks. And these crop marks, you're like, what is he talking about crop marks? I'm literally going to show you right now, right after this. See how they're cutting into the color, right? So that's both. That means both of these documents are identical in size. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to airdrop them. Everybody here, watch. You guys are going to do this today just to do a test print. I'm going to airdrop them to Judge Photography. Everybody see that? If you didn't know this already, that is the laptop, our classroom laptop over there by the printer. We might be moving it to the front of the room later. Okay. And then I'm going to go hit accept over here. That's how you get your PDFs. And we're going to show them the thing or have somebody help you. Have your brush or your BFF help you kind of get accept. So now they're over there. Cool. Everybody saw that process? Okay. And I'm going to end this. That was pretty much it. Stop recording.